Welcome to the summit and thanks for stopping by Midwest Sports today. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams. It's a privilege today to get to visit with the head football coach of the Waldorf Warriors. And coach, your Warriors have moved to 4-0 and on the season after a 55-21 to victory over Mayville State on Saturday. The margin of victory a little bit bigger than the last time you two met back in the season opener. Talk about the win then and where your program is now at the midpoint. Yeah, we, we were excited to be back at home and, and get a big victory. The second half was, was a lot different than the first half. We talked about playing, you know, a full four-quarter game. Uh, you go back and look at that first game, it was it was just uh, they scored, we scored back and forth. And, you know, they had a new staff. We were on the road. Um, you know, the best thing about our team right now, I tell them every day, is we're getting better every week. And we can still continue to get better as the season moves forward. It was a 50-40 to 40 victory on the road, as you mentioned, back in that season opener. And, and uh, the North Star schedule is an interesting one. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. However, you got some national recognition this week. Slater Gifford, your field goal kicker, put in a, a pair of big field goals, especially at the time in the game, and opened up a little bit of a lead that you guys never really relinquished. He accounted for 13 points on the day and, and garnered the honors of the NAIA Special Teams Player of the Week. Yeah, so Slater, it's um, it's it's great to have him on our team because anytime he walks on the field, it's almost automatic. And um, you know, he, he's a great leader, but I think he's seven of eight this season. And the one he missed was probably on me because it was late in the game, and um, we probably shouldn't have kicked the field goal anyways. But he, uh, yeah, when you have when you have that kicker on the, on your team, then you, it's almost automatic. Yeah, that, that has to be a nice feeling. Seven for eight on the season, 24 of 24 in your extra point attempts, and, and you guys have been putting points on the board there in the end zone as well. Jatovia Hill had one of those touchdowns for you in this win last week, and he really came alive. He's your leading rusher and leading receiver on the team as well with receptions and crossed the century mark in, in running uh, more than 180 yards last Saturday in the win against Mayville State and uh, picked up more than 10 yards per carry. Yeah, it was our first 100-yard uh, rusher in a game uh, to this point, and and not I call him Navi, but Navi's getting better every week and getting more comfortable. Iowa kid, you know, transferred in from Iowa Central, and he just he just really fits in what we do well here, and and a great runner, explosive. He had that explosive run, and that's what we've been looking for in offense to create some more explosive plays. We're speaking now with Will Finley, the head coach of the Waldorf Warriors in his second season as head coach, or excuse me, first season as head coach, second season with the program. Yeah. And, you know, actually, well, that, that lets me segue then to talk about your, your opportunity last season, the defensive coordinator. And, Coach, when you got there, really, uh, I mean, changes were made with the way the defense was played. The Warriors were giving up more than 30 points a game for a couple of years prior. Last year, you come into the program giving up right at about 16 points a game, led the North Star in defensive scoring. The program right now, of course, the Warriors giving up a little bit less than 20 points per game. Talk about the defensive shift in the mindset then that's come along with your arrival. Yeah, I think just, you know, Coach Literal and then that staff, the staff had, we had the, we had good players and we just, uh, we changed the scheme a little bit, but I think just the, the idea of, we're going to strain an effort every play and pursuit to the football. It goes back to pursuit and tackling and getting off blocks and just really focused in on what we do on defense. And then we'll make adjustments to weekly, but really focusing on what we do. And just we have the kind of kids that are going to work hard every day and give that, give that strain and effort. With your, your team, of course, getting the win, on Saturday, that moves the Warriors, we mentioned, to 4-1 and one on the season. Only one loss so far this year, and that a one-point setback to Valley City State. It's an interesting schedule. Of course, everything about 2020 has been interesting, to say the least. I'm sure there are lots of folks that could use other descriptive terms. We won't use those today. Uh, right. But it's, uh, it's definitely been, um, well, unique. And the schedule sets up where you all have played teams more than one time in a season before, but this is almost like a basketball schedule with a double round-robin feel to it. Uh, you, you've played now Mayville State twice, and you're going to get Valley City State again this weekend coming up. Now talk about what it's like to play not only the same team twice over the course of a season, but pretty much every team twice. Yeah, I'm still getting used to it. You know, my second year in the conference, um, I, I, 
I think it's good. It's good. I'm glad the conference did it this season. I think the administration and, and the conference leaders um, jumped on it to, to ensure we had nine games um, for this fall. But um, I don't know if it's anything you ever get used to. I think just seeing the same team over, over and over uh, brings some challenges, um, but also some, you know, you've already broken them down. You're familiar with it, what they do offensively, defensively, and special teams. So there's some, some good and bad with everything. You know, that is pretty interesting because you don't have to go that far to look back on the film. I mean, <laughs> you, you already have that film in front of you, and it was taken by, by your own film crew to do that. I, I want to give a shout-out to you all, by the way, and to the conference for not only uh, making sure that uh, football was played, but that it was played in the fall. And I, and I think it's, a, it's something that I, I don't know that we'll ever take for granted again, watching football in the fall. Absolutely. I, I'm, I, just, I can't thank our administration and our trainers and our president – and our athletic director, just the, the leadership and the and setting the foundation to allow us to play and giving our, our kids a chance to, to go out every week and compete. I mean, it's just it's, it's all for the players and their experience. Well, we mentioned the one point setback to Valley City State, and that's how we'll wrap up our time here is looking ahead, not looking back uh, again, four and one on the season. But you get that familiar foe in Valley City State this weekend and then of course two weekends from now you get to take on Dickinson State Dickinson State 5 and 0 undefeated on the year as well uh, a team that uh, had s- that Waldorf has struggled with a little bit but in the last two years one and two against Dickinson State as well so can you preview the next couple of weeks for us yeah Valley City State's a good football team we know what we're going to get we went up there and and lost by one point and our guys know what's at stake this week and our goal is to play at four Four quarter game, and and the thing we talk about every week is we want to go one and zero this week, and it doesn't matter who we're going to play. Um, it's the next biggest game because it's the it's the next game on the schedule. It's the biggest game of the year because of that. We don't we try not to make it bigger than what it is, but our guys know what's at stake um, for our long term goals as well. And Valley City is well coached, uh, veteran veteran staff, and really good quarterback, and their defense you know, caused some, some, some issues for us that first game. And we're looking forward to to uh, battling them again this weekend at home. And it's homecoming here at Waldorf. And looking forward to the, the fans and our students and alumni and everyone. The, the Forest City community has really been involved every week. And so we're looking forward to being back at home. And the next week back up to Dickinson, you know, long, long, long trip on – on, on the charter and and uh, Coach Stanton does a great job. They're well coached and solid every week, and so um, that's all. That's what I know about them at this point. We'll we'll dive into them next week. And it'll be the only time you'll see them this season as well. No, I don't want you to give away any state secrets, uh, Coach. Anything like yeah. that. Uh, uh, one game at a time, but it, it definitely is a, a pretty solid two-week stretch for you all. Thank you, Coach, for taking time with us today here on the Summit. Uh, again, the Warriors 4-1 and one and, and looking to put themselves in a position to possibly be playing in the spring. Yeah, I appreciate it. Anytime we can be on here and, and talk about Waldorf football, we're, we're all about it. <laughs> That's Coach Will Finley from the Waldorf Warriors. Thanks again for watching. Please do like and share this video, and please do consider subscribing to the channel Midwest Sports Net. Thanks again for watching. God bless you.